Hi guys, I promised this video a while ago. Um, sorry, it's only uh, today I am coming around to doing it. Um, but yeah, here I am and I said I am going to be quick as well because I don't want to get into too much details. The videos, they go on too long and people lose interest. So I hope this is going to be short and sweet and you're going to stay with me. The question was how I decide on a trade. Uh, with the current indicator I'm using and I am usually using Tino's Traders Reality. Like I mentioned before, the indicator is free. All you need is time to dedicate to learn it. It's not as complicated as it seems. However, um, the more time you spend um, paper trading it, observing it, uh, the better for you. So without further ado, uh, let me show you my screen and I'm going to talk you through the trade I entered the last day and how I basically decide on uh, is it a good moment to enter or is it um, not a great moment. Now currently um, I'm just going to skip quickly to the Bitcoin charts because before you decide on any trade. I mean, whether it is a short term, a term trade, uh, whether it's a um, long term trade, uh, check Bitcoin um, where it's going, what, what it's doing. Um, I will also highlight uh, this, guys. Please uh, don't get upset if your bids don't hit. Also, don't get upset if uh, your uh, you you miss a trade. It really isn't the end of the world, right? Mm. Everybody is getting FOMO. The most experienced traders are getting FOMO. And we are in this moment where everybody is excited uh, because Bitcoin is after bouncing and we've seen few um, altcoins across the board um, make nice upside. Um, and I am getting messages, well, I missed this coin, I missed the entry and all this. Take, take a step back from it, guys. Take a step back, breathe. FOMO will destroy you. I was getting it because now I got a nice tra trade on VET and I keep going back to the setup and thinking, okay, there's more left. I've left the trade, I made money on it. But now I'm thinking, maybe, right? Entered once, wintered twice, lost five, ten percent, and I'm thinking, no. Wait for the trade to come to you. Honestly, I mean there are hundreds and hundreds of potential trades, trades. And if you miss one, so be it. On to the next. Let the passing time be your friend. Don't worry about, uh, yeah, missing that entry because sometimes, honestly, um, entering higher will make more sense than trying to catch that bottom. I've talked about it before anyway. Uh, so just, I'll get back now to my, um, my way of deciding on trades and what I, um, do before I enter, uh, what I look at. Uh, so back to Bitcoin chart. Currently, I usually say stay away from trading on weekends. Um, there is different liquidity, different games. Um, uh, stock market uh, is closed. Um, completely different money, completely different moves, sometimes artificial moves. You see people talk about bearish divergences uh, where uh, RSI is um, going uh, down, or sorry, where volume is going down and um, price is going up. Uh, that is uh, definitely being pumped uh, by whales and not organic move with proper volume. So I would stay away, but however, just for the uh, purposes of this video, let me talk to you through uh, Bitcoin right now. I posted uh, this uh, chart uh, this morning. It's giving all of us Bart Simpson uh, vibes. <laughs> if you're not familiar, it uh, will print this spiky little top. Uh, it's a bit flat and then come back down and it would look like Bart Simpson's head. 
Uh, so currently I am looking at either that rejection at 42,000 and go back down and get get those uh, green candles reclaimed or as a spike above. It gives us a better perspective when we have the um, EMAs are put on the chart. So I usually go to the one hour um, for like quick, quick scalps and I turn uh, the indicator on. So uh, when we were talking earlier on about um, Bitcoin and the 50 MA and how it was clinging onto it uh, and just going this little dance around it. Uh, you can all also bear in mind that uh, this is a 200 EMA on the hourly and where it is currently sitting. So we were below those two in the, uh, those two EMAs before. Right now, as you can see, there was a shift and we are above both. Uh, we're also stretched out above the two EMAs. Uh, so uh, this indicates right now, uh, obviously the way they fan out um, will give us a little bit of a, a better picture as well where Bitcoin is headed. Um, so the way they are kind of perched and stretched out um, means the move um, to the upside has a bit more traction than uh, over here back in January 29th, let's say, when we also climbed above the two EMAs, but they were tight together and they were um, uh, not fanning out too much. Usually, I always uh, tell you guys, uh, keeping an eye on the 15 May on the hourly because price always and on every uh, time frame actually comes back to that EMA. Uh, we are actually right now above the 800 EMA on the hourly. You can see that dark navy line, right? So, uh, checking quickly our RSI, uh, it is going down it's in around 55 so you want to keep an eye on that as well guys because i know it's confusing when people say about overbought oversold so um when you look at rsi um and all the other confluences you ideally want it to be low before entering the trade because the higher the rsi the more overbought it is and um, likely it will eventually reject. Now, if you ever see our side go up high above 80, 90, um, I wouldn't be entering any trade. No matter how beautiful the chart may look, how uh, tempting, I wouldn't be entering personally uh, into any trade. I like that. Um, so uh, next thing I just wanna show you guys is the volume. Um, and this is what I was talking about. Uh, so the price uh, currently is sitting flat and the volume is going down. We could potentially, because of the weekend, see the price pump and volume keep dropping. Um, so just to grab that liquidity up here and reject. I would be keeping an eye on, on, on this uh, right now. That doesn't stop alts from pumping. Always, always be risk aware. What can happen? So there isn't a trade that you enter that goes always your way. This is a game of probabilities and possibilities. Every trade, no matter how fantastic the setup is, can go both ways. Assuming we enter Bitcoin here right now, because we see all the EMAs nicely perched. We're after seeing the cross between uh, 50 and the 800, right? Um, volume, fine, we're bearing that in mind because it's the weekend, um, it's a mind game, right? So we're thinking next thing uh, that's gonna happen here is we're going up. We're assuming that scenario, right? Setting up your trade right now, entering right now, when it comes to scalps, decide on your 
invalidation point and the side on your exit point. Right now, obviously, I I don't advocate for um, I don't advocate for um, leverage trading, uh, but it is enticing to many. Um, so if you do decide on hopping into uh, anything with leverage, just remember the higher the leverage, the quicker you get wrecked, and also either you end up making a fortune on it or end up losing it all. I never enter a trade without 100% my own conviction. Sometimes I can't even explain why I entered it, but I also understand the risk and I understand that I can lose money. Without this, don't don't assume you're getting into leverage and you think the price is going to go up another 5-10% and you're entering at 20x so you're going to end up with 200% uh, increase that it is going to happen. Remember, trades can go both ways. Uh, so I'm not going to be talking too many details here right now just want you to uh, understand what I look at uh, with this indicator. So currently I have those um, zones marked up from before. As you can see this in uh, this uh, candle, the very red uh, bright candle is indicating where the most uh, liquidity is sitting and there were all the longs uh, built before. Uh, so it would make sense from here to pump up, grab that liquidity and come back down or keep pumping, right? Uh, ideally, best moment to enter is down the bottom here. But to catch that bottom is tricky. Um, personally, I wouldn't enter any trade with those uh, EMAs, EMAs so fan out. But like I said, we come and look at Bitcoin, what Bitcoin is doing. We understand the risk that right now uh, we're stretched out, the volume is going down, RSI is somewhere in the middle. What's going to happen uh, next, we can only assume. Um, let me just get out of this. And I'll show you um, the maybe a vet, because I keep <laughs> I keep going back to that trade myself. Um, what and why I decided to exit and another one that I thought has potential but I wouldn't enter it because KuCoin doesn't have it uh, and instead of trading I'm recording this video for you guys so here's VET and let me make this a little bit bigger for you so again it's quite similar to what Bitcoin looks like and a lot of uh, charts will mirror uh, the setup will have very similar um, look to Bitcoin. The difference with uh, VET is we can see the 800 EMA is much higher than the one on Bitcoin. I always look at the M pivot points uh, on the traders reality um, as well because it is interesting how um, the trade can move between M1 and M3, M2, M4, and sometimes M5. I um, wholeheartedly recommend check out that video. Tino has it on his page explaining exactly uh, what way these um, can work. So my understanding and my um, temptation here is that there is uh, this liquidity to be grabbed. All those red candles up to 61, up higher to 68 and all the way to 72. Just to quickly show you guys on a bigger time scale. Maybe even um, let's do a daily chart. Uh, my previous little drawings, that's what we were hoping for, it didn't happen. Uh, so it always, always helps to zoom out, check a bigger picture and at least mark your basic zones that you will be working off. 
step by step, especially for short term trades, because uh, there could be short moves from uh, one support to the next resistance. And with the leverage trading, obviously, that is a, a fantastic um, opportunity. Again, this isn't financial advice, guys. I do not support and I do not advocate um, leverage trading. You can also enter on um, 1x and um, basically just uh, give yourself that opportunity of earning 10 or 20%, whatever the small move um, is. So I'll get rid of the indicator for now. Uh, I have the zones marked. I have my, um, apologies for this. I have my daily um, support and resistance marked. So you can see this was a previous support, six cents. And that is a big support. This was, um, this would be our support resistance level as it was uh, a resistance here, uh, support here, support here, and broke uh, below this. And we're currently sitting right now just below it. Uh, I remember looking at this and just basically marking the bottom. It, 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 it was um, a decision made on a whim, uh, obviously quickly checking uh, my confluences my indicators and a lot of trades like this um actually happen very very quickly and you enter uh just as the move is happening and there isn't time even to um update on it when it comes to the leverage trading when it comes to um entering a trade for a, a longer period you you can assume certain things and uh enter a little bit um Plan it, plan it a little bit better uh, and ahead of time and give yourself a little bit more room in terms of stop loss or uh, uh, how to split your um, how to split your uh, budget for it. Um, this is, um, like I said, I'm not getting into too many details. I try to keep it real quick and um, short for you just to explain how I enter for the uh, leverage. Uh, for quick scalps. So right now the currently uh, the current price is the green uh, price. Uh, it's just right dancing around the fifty um, nine mark. Uh, ideally, uh, we would love to see this break, build support, and break above to the next resistance, which is around the eight cent mark. Uh, but also, I tend to uh, mark medium ranges as well and trade trade between them as well so that would be around our seven uh, percent mark i didn't enter this trade. I, I entered this trade sorry before i exit and made money on it uh but currently i'm not in it but i'll explain to you why real quick and i'll show you um the trade that i thought had potential and Going well with Bitcoin, you could see a nice, you could have made a, a nice entry there. So back to Trader's Reality on the hourly, we kind of more or less uh, understand that we are at resistance and we're checking all the um, our levels here. Where is the next liquidity pool and our um, EMAs. So the 250 on the early are uh, a little bit stretched out. We are pushed above them. What I would be looking for is, be honest, I probably would long right now into resistance <laughs> and try and get that move from uh, M3 to M5 and even up to the 6 five mark here just looking at those vector candles uh, right now um, however I'll stay away because of the weekend and not having 100% conviction um, I might be making a mistake anyhow uh, back to the point so you can see this candle here it is uh, sitting right at the 61 mark that could that could potentially be a quick really swift move if bitcoin decides um to play ball and push up higher to the forty one thousand mark um 
uh, the liquidity pool I was showing you earlier on. Uh, so this, this potentially would be um, an entry, okay? I didn't enter right now. Um, and your invalidation uh, would be obviously go, falling below uh, the psychological low M2 pivot point uh, and going below the 50 EMA on the hourly. Uh, what you could po possibly do, and which is probably a better uh, play, is wait for it to come below 50 and come back up again and then try for a push above um but that's that's the thing with um quick scalps uh they happen so fast uh and and we we get that feeling where we just want to make that decision immediately uh, because what if right uh so <laughs> understanding the risk here is the most important thing understanding uh that you can also lose money um when you're entering leverage plays uh, is super important but i'll show you Cotty and why i thought it would make more sense to enter that had i uh opportunity mm. two seconds I'm trying to record this guys without making too many mistakes and just basically um, having it recorded and sent out to you as soon as possible. So maybe let's zoom out first uh, without any indicators, but I'd say uh, some of you can already notice uh, why it to me looks like a good play. So again, I have my zones marked. Uh, I will get rid of these boxes just for the time being. Um, okay, we have this. We have this support here. Uh, we're currently, I don't have that marked, but we can kind of see more or less. Let me draw the line for you guys. Uh, so that was our support here where we touched uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and we're currently actually above it. So we're, we're building, we're building a nice um, support above this line back again, that's on the daily. We have our zone more or less um, marked out. Again, I'm keeping it very short guys, just so you understand uh, just my, my um, thinking uh, below this. Uh, sorry, my understanding for for uh, how I entered the trades. Um, we came down below the support, came back up above, up, up, up above it. Again, uh, wicked below, and this time we're sitting above that line. So that looks good to me. On the far hour, our RSI looks okayish. Um, but let's go to the one hour because we're talking about scalps and that's uh, how I would probably enter. So we, uh, probably best entry would have been uh, at that support here and up. But because we missed it, and there is a retest, let's check the EMAs, okay? So, this given it's a weekend, like I said, be very careful. Uh, we came down, we touched the 50, we're just below it. This wouldn't be a bad entry for me, personally, I think, because of the 800, sorry, uh, 200 EMA um, being below the um, 50, uh, where the price is also above the 50, and we're after uh, retesting the M2 pivot point, uh, I bear in mind the uh, 800 EMA and the hourly, um, but this potentially could lead to a nice breakout um, had the volume picked up and um, like I said guys, it is all probabilities and possibilities here. Um, obviously this can easily reject uh, just as the, uh, we touch the 32 cents. And let me just check uh, this real quick for you, for you guys. If we were to enter here and even make uh, the 
move up to the 32 mark that is potentially three three and a half percent uh increase from here um three percent uh and then possibly push above to the um four which would have been just uh, at the yesterday's high so that's five percent i personally think it looks better because the uh there is more potential for more growth uh we can still uh, break above um break above this easily um the the fa favoring um indicator for me right now is the EMAs and how we are above the support uh, and then also looking at the vector candles um, you can see now this liquidity was grabbed by those candles here uh, but right now if we have if we look at this uh, a pattern as well we had an M here we possibly have formed here a w and this could be our rise level one and we are after retesting here and we're going up for the rise level two so i'd say i'll finish it up here wrap it up here if you have more questions i've been talking for a while now anyway um i hope this cleared a few things for you and made it um interesting it's 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 hard to um explain so much in a short video concentrating on just one thing and especially for me i, I love talking as you can see um but i really hope this um was something useful and if you have more questions i'm going to try and make more videos for you guys and obviously uh record a little bit uh more detail about certain things and we can just break it down and make it more um understandable for um, more many of you again guys everybody is responsible for their own trades everybody is responsible for their own money um there could be i like i said the juicy setups invalidated real quick um always look at bitcoin first uh, you don't have to be trading it you don't have to be holding it um if Bitcoin um takes over uh, and I we we probably will see it take over real soon or with the dominance um alts won't be um popping as often as they are um when the dominance isn't as strong because because obviously more money goes into Bitcoin then and people are are pumping it and uh, trading it more um then obviously usually the cycle goes um where money was made in bitcoin it comes out of it and we, we see uh alt uh pop um but don't get too hung up on all of these things either it's good to check it's good to have it in the back of your mind um uh, but market loves to surprise us all um so long you understand the risk so long you understand what you're um getting yourself into uh and you're prepared to lose that money um you you're prob you are making as sound and as responsible decisions as possible but don't expect and um don't blame anybody if you know um there was a setup uh, posted on twitter or anywhere and you decided to enter and then it went um against um what you assumed because it is always a, po a possibility 50 50 here guys um always obviously uh someone asked me actually only recently how to um, how to get good at, uh, at trading paper trade paper trade guys uh, grab a piece of paper get a pen and write your assumed entry exit invalidation point and wait for it to play out wait for it to play out and i'll go back to that point guys don't fumble don't fumble wait for the trade to come to you wait for a good setup um wait for that conviction because you can then go back and say 
okay, I based my decision on this, 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 and it turned out to be a good decision. And the more data like this you gather, you can then understand what you're doing and is it working? And why is it working? And then stick to it. Uh, I mean, so many trades can be made based on simple two, three um, confluences and you can be super um, successful without all the fancy indicators. Uh, one of the best uh, traders is SC. I love him. He's my uh, mentor. I learned a lot from him. Uh, that's why I always look at the ranges. He simply trades of uh, price action and the zones. Uh, and he honestly has crazy, um, crazy returns on his trades. So, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys, and I'll be talking to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and more to come. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your weekend.